Hey everyone, I just wanted to give you a little tour of the course. I know the system is different um, if you've taken courses before uh, through CNM, so we're no longer using Blackboard. Um, but the good news is, is that I don't really know uh, the system that well either. And so I plan to be very flexible in terms of, you know, technological issues or not knowing how to upload or whatever. Um, anyway, so here's what it looks like. Um, and there's just some basic stuff that you need to know um, right from the get-go. So to find the stuff inside the course, there's lots of different ways, but the best way I think is to go to coursework up here and then go to course content. Okay. And that'll give you a kind of table of contents that you can kind of navigate from. So over here on the left hand side um, you can start with the overview and syllabus that just has the syllabus. Um, but it, I think an even better place to kind of uh, get information here is this thing I've called useful information, for lack of a better uh, word. So if you click on useful information, you can see there's a course description, a welcome message, um, syllabus, the, the sort of course schedule or the due dates, which I think will be really useful. Um, and you can put those in your phone or your calendar or wherever. So we can kind of keep, you can kind of keep track of what's going on. Um, the textbook in case you want to just go right to it. Um, I'll be holding optional office hours every single day from 9.30 to 10.30 unless I say otherwise. Um, but if you want to schedule some uh, FaceTime or virtual FaceTime, I can do that as well. Um, and then just uh, how to get in touch with me, you can use the email system inside of Brightspace. So if you go up here to this little uh, envelope, it'll take you to the email system. You can do an instant message or you can do email. Okay, Or you can just use the old school email. And you can also uh, send me a text through Remind, which is an, an app um, where you can send free text messages. And then the bulk of the course is over here on the left hand side, so module one, module two, module three, and so forth. So there's 14 days to <laughs> for this course, and it's it's doable. People who have done it before in the past, um, no problem. As long as you kind of keep yourself organized. So you can think of each module as a day. Even though for the assignments for each set of modules, you have two days for, okay? So for example, module one, everything is due on the 29th and module two, everything is also due on the 29th. So, you know, if you have like a bad day or you have, you know, something you have to do on that day, you still have a little time to kind of catch up. Um, and uh, the reason I do this is because I, you know, just to keep us all kind of on track and turning in assignments so we're not overloaded right at the end because there's no way I can uh, grade all the assignments in that la those last two days. Okay, so let's just click on one of these. Okay, it's a link and then it'll take you to this kind of module page, a description of the module and what's inside of it. So here we have like learning outcomes, what you're supposed to do, like in terms of the activities, and then finally what's due. Okay, and then if you scroll down, you'll see the links for all the content inside that module. So here's the textbook, right? So you can just click on that. And again, it's a free textbook. If you have any issues, please let me know as soon as possible. You just click on this link and it should open up in a new tab. And then find the link to the course, which is called Being Human. Click on more info um, and then register so you can take the quizzes. Okay? And the quizzes will appear at the end of each chapter. So you scroll down, we'll just click on chapter one Okay, make sure you log in with your CNM username and password. And this will allow you to take the quizzes that are embedded inside the textbook. These quizzes are just practice quizzes. So if we click into a chapter, we'll be able to see the chapter and there's also a, oh, <laughs> there's also a, a glossary and sometimes um, you'll see words that aren't really anthropological in there and that's because we unfortunately share a glossary with other textbooks. So here embryo is not really important to our class, um, but 
you know, <laughs> there's, a, there's a glossary term for it. Okay, so we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom and then you can view the lesson quiz and then just take the quiz, okay? So here's kind of what it looks like. Okay, and again, these are practice quizzes. Okay, so we'll go back into our module inside of Brightspace. Remember that this is kind of like the descriptive page, right? Read or watch, what's due. And then down below is all the content for that module. Okay, so here's the textbook. Um, free reminders if you want to sign up for those. Um, and then sometimes it's just content like this, doing things differently. This is just a series of videos to watch and then to answer these questions. So I recommend that, um, and, and you don't submit these questions to me, they're just for your benefit, you know, to, to take quizzes and to take the exams and so forth and to help you with the film responses. Okay, so it um, might be a good idea to just keep a notebook of these questions to consider um, so you can go back to them and refer back to them because everything is open book, uh, open computer, but you don't want to be searching around for hours, okay? All right, let's look, let's go back and look at some of the assignments. I'm going to use the breadcrumbs and go back into module one. I'm going to scroll down and then, ah, okay. So then for this first week, we have a syllabus quiz and you have unlimited attempts and unlimited time, but it is due on the 29th. So it is due, uh, you have two days to take this quiz. And the same thing for the introduction to anthropology quiz, you have two days to take it. Um, yeah, uh, but for the every other quiz, except for the syllabus quiz, uh, you have an hour to take it in one attempt. And again, use those practice quizzes inside the textbook to help you um, prepare for these graded quizzes. Okay, then we can scroll down to discussions. Uh, you can read the discussion, uh, the discussion instructions carefully. Remember that you need to post an original post of at least 150 words and then respond to two other students. So pretty standard. Um, so we'll just click into the discussions. There you go. So here's the module one introductions discussion to again read. And then just like in Blackboard, you'll start a new thread. So you say, hello, my name is, okay, et cetera. And then just when you're ready, just go ahead and post. And then when you, you're a student and you want to reply to a post, this is a little bit different than Blackboard. You click on the link that is created for each of the threads, and then you can go ahead and select this reply to thread, okay? hello and then post let's go back uh, into the table of contents so for the most part there are quizzes discussions um, there's two exams but those are um, take home so they're open book and open computer okay so let's uh, and there's also with film responses. So you'll have to carve out a bit of time to watch these films. They're about an hour, some are a little bit more, and then uh, you can write a written response. You can go through this at your own pace as long as you're ahead of schedule, right? So if you get done with module one and module two, you can go on and move on to module three, uh, or you can finish all your uh, film responses in one go. It doesn't really matter to me as long as you meet the deadlines. So let's go click over here and then we'll go into module four, which is ritual and rites of passage. So the setup is exactly the same. But for this one, you'll see that we have uh, a film response due. Okay. So the way uh, Brightspace is structured, um, I had to do it this way where I have instructions here and then you submit it in, at this link below. Okay. So, for example, if we just click on the instructions, we'll see that, we'll see that here's the instructions, and I know they're kind of elaborate, but I just wanted to make sure that everybody knew what they were doing. Um, and basically what this is, is that you watch a film, a documentary, 
uh, and then you describe five different details, you connect it to the course material, you find an outside article or video, uh, and then you connect that um, outside article or video to the film you saw, and then you cite it using a standard format. So it's all pretty uh, straightforward kind of things that you uh, will be useful to you, I hope, um, in college, and I hope the material is interesting as well. So if you scroll down, you can see there's a checklist just to make sure that you covered everything. You know, you didn't just forget something and lose points because, you know, you forgot to do something. And here are the films to choose from. So I know that um, we got a, lots of different interests. People are coming from all kinds of backgrounds. So I give you um, some some different films to kind of, uh, whichever one you're interested in, you can watch. Okay, so you don't have to watch all of them. And then just a little bit of information about finding an outside source, especially for this first uh, film response. You know, I just give you some possible uh, articles and videos to choose from, but you can choose your own. And then citation help. You may have learned this in your uh, English classes if you've taken them, how to cite properly using APA or MLA style, just some standard format. Okay, so those are the instructions and you can write your response in Word or create a PDF file. And then when you're ready to submit it, you'll go back into the module and then go into uh, Film Response 1, submit your assignment here. Okay, so these are all links. You'll just click on the link and then you'll see this button here that says Upload and you'll just upload it like you're attaching, you know, like you're attaching a file, right, to to an email or something like that. I'm not going to do that, but you get the idea. Okay, and remember to use these breadcrumbs to to navigate through the course. Why don't we take just take a look really quick at a quiz? It's pretty straightforward. It's a lot like Blackboard if you um, used Blackboard. Okay, we'll just go into the syllabus quiz. So you'll just click on the link and that'll take you to kind of the summary of the quiz and give you um, some details here. So, okay, unlimited uh, time and unlimited attempts. And that's again, just for the syllabus quiz. For all the other quizzes, you have an hour and one attempt. Okay, and then you can just click this button, start the quiz and then go ahead and answer the questions. They're all mandatory, so if you if you accidentally skip some, it'll it'll warn you. It'll, it'll say you have, you know, four more questions. And over here you can see a kind of outline of the quiz. Okay? I'm just going to X out of that. Okay, and so when you have taken a quiz and you want to make sure that it was graded, um, and it'll it'll tell you the grade right after you submit but if you miss that you can always come over here to my grades and then grades but it'll it'll show the grades here okay and if you want more information like I usually provide feedback for our, um, written work so you can come in here come into class progress so they're kind of split you can get a little bit more detail in class progress and then come over here to assignments and um, so here we've submitted something right we submitted it on December 31st um, here we can see that we haven't uh, submitted anything but if you click on details this is where it'll show you um, the feedback okay so details um, let's go back into content. So I hope that gives you an idea of um, how the course is structured. I think one of the most important documents is here under useful information and due dates. Okay, This will uh, help you keep on track. Okay, so modules 1 and 2 I've allotted December 28th and 29th uh, for those two modules and then it'll show you here what all is due. And then the next two modules, here's what's due, and then so on and so forth. So that should help you uh, stay on track. 
if you um, have questions or something isn't quite right, um, there's going to be errors in here for sure because because of the transfer from the old system into the new system. So please let me know so I can update a link or you know if it's a due date, whatever it is, let me know um, and that will help us all out a lot. Um, my goal is to get all of us, including myself, uh, through this semester so we can have a solid foundation in Brightspace and be able to take courses without any problem. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Good luck. Remember to stay in contact with me um, if you have questions or if you're having any kind of um, technical difficulty or, or other issues um, regarding the course and we're just, we're going to figure it out. Okay, we'll sort it out. Best of luck. All right, see you later.